you're here from my last video then it's nice to see you again um if you're just now clicking on this video then welcome to my channel like i said and as you can see from the title i'll be talking about my my school columbus state university and you know the pros and cons some specs you know what's going on there it's because when i was looking for a school and i i would always put it into youtube to see what everyone else was saying about it but i never really saw any on Columbus State. So I feel like I like, will do this video and help other people. So if you see me looking down, I have like this. Uh, I have my tablet on some key points that I wanted to touch on to make sure I don't forget anything. So a little bit about my time there. Um, I just started in January and yeah, I took a little break after high school and I started it that this spring. And um, you know, after that time, everyone has always already found their little clique, so I still don't have any friends right now. Um, and so far, it's really boring. That's like the main thing I don't like is that it's boring. And if you ask other people, they'll say like, if you don't have your own little group of friends or whatever, this is in the school if you're looking for a lot in the, if you're looking for a real college, experience and not just there for the academics then this isn't the place so my major is nursing yeah sing your prayers i need them i need them all um that's my major they have a lot of options to choose from um their nursing program is really good and I haven't really looked into any other majors. I know that the arts is a big thing, especially downtown. So those are good majors, you know, with the theater and all of that. Um, I see they do a lot of stuff. Um, I, don't, I don't really have much to say about the majors because, I mean, I haven't looked in it, into any other ones except for mine because I don't have time to be wasting on that. So I do have a lot of time. Um, academics. Um... I know some people are people barely made it through high school and they're like let me just find that college that give me the minimum um it's easy work honestly i was really surprised about the school because the work is pretty simple like the coursework they don't just throw it all on you they really don't um you just have to be really good at managing your time. Like I cannot stress that enough, manage your time. Like that's a really big thing, but the work that I get so far, I would say it's pretty easy. Like it's really easy and the teachers, the professors are really nice and they'll work with you. And, um, and they give out extra credit for like the smallest things, they really do. <laughs> you get extra credit you get extra credit like everyone gets extra credit so that's one thing I really love about this school like I really love the academics and how simple it is if you just you know study like I don't personally I don't even put a lot of time into studying and I do pretty well food oh my god like any place that I'm going to once I check that they have my major I go straight to the food like I have to see what they have on campus for me to eat I know I'm not the only one like food is just everything to me so food wise um I ate ate three times I want to say I ate three times in the cafeteria and I personally it wasn't anything to brag about like they really it wasn't anything to brag about honestly um, they do have a Subway and a Chick-fil-A on campus. And when you hear that, some people are like, oh my God, they got Chick-fil-A, that's all I need. But once you're there and you're eating that every day, Subway and Chick-fil-A, you're eating that every day. You're like, I'm so over this. I am so done with this. So that's one thing I, I feel like they should give you more options or at least better the quality in the cafeteria. So that's what I have to say about the food. Um, activities. Since I started in the spring, it wasn't much going on then. 
Um, there aren't a lot of parties that I know of. Maybe I have to find my click to know when the parties are going on. But from what I know, there aren't a lot. Um, um, but it, there was a bunch of fundraisers and that, that was pretty much, it wasn't anything going on in the spring. Uh, maybe I have to wait till the fall for things to kind of get interesting. But so far, I was pretty dead. Um, clubs. I thought I would join a lot of clubs so I can make friends, but they don't have a lot that cater to everyone. I, everything is mostly academic or, um, yeah, pretty much academic. Like, you have your academics and then, like, one or two that are, like, for arts or um um like this group called the campus nerds um they're supposed to be really interesting and they're supposed to be doing really cool things but i went i went to one meeting and no it wasn't for me i'll try it again this coming fall but it wasn't for me at the time um so if you're looking for clubs, I mean, you go, you can go on there and check them out. If you see something that you're interested in, then yeah, go for it. This could be a good fit for you, but for me, no. Let's move on to Greek life. Greek life. So I am actually looking forward to that because I was going to join one this fall. I'm not going to say which one, but maybe I will later, but right now I'm not going to because I'm still in between. So, Greek Life, I haven't had heard much about them, but I do follow two, the ones I'm in between on, on Instagram. They look pretty cool. I think, I feel like that's the best way to make friends here. That and staying in housing. And um, I feel like that's the quickest way and the best way to make friends if you are coming into this with none, like I am. So, I'm looking forward to that. Um, housing, I didn't even put that on there, but housing. I didn't, I'm a commuter, so I don't live in housing, but I feel like that's probably another way to make friends and to really be involved. Because when you're a commuter, once your classes are done, you're ready to go home. Like you're not staying for anything, you're definitely not coming back. So that was probably another one of my issues that I was a, I was a commuter. Um, financial aid in their offices, oh my God, those people are so rude. They're so rude. Like every time I called and had an issue, they were just extremely rude, just not helpful at all. Like one thing, don't call and ask about your refund. If you see online that it's say 14 days or whatever, even if there's something weird going on with your account, don't call them because they don't want to hear it. Because I call, I don't, I can't even remember what was going on with my account. But as soon as she heard, heard me mention refund, she hung up like she hung up on me like I could not believe it like I had to call my boyfriend and I told him and if there's an issue I always call him and I tell him because I feel like he got it he has to fix it he has to fix everything so I called him and yeah they, she hung up on me like I couldn't believe it I was so shocked so well, that's another thing some of their some of the people in their offices are just don't call them on the phone go in go in and talk to them so if they get a little mm, they i don't think they would get like that with you if you walked in and talked to them i feel like when you're on the phone with someone they have a tendency to talk to you any kind of way because you're on the phone like don't don't call them <laughs> don't um Overall, I mean, I plan on transferring after this fall. Hopefully, I hope so. Because if it doesn't get better after this fall, then I'm definitely transferring. Um, right now, the places that I'm thinking about is Auburn. Uh, Auburn, Georgia State. Maybe somewhere in Florida. But I feel like if I go to Florida, I'm never going to want to leave. And I have places to be. So, yeah. Um so overall, I feel like the pros of this school, the pros are that the academics are pretty easy to manage. And um, you know what? 
that is about it. <laughs> the academics are easy to manage and then the nursing program is really good. Those are the only things that I feel like are good about the school right now. I just Maybe I just need to give it time. I don't want to discourage it, anyone that's already coming. But I really just saw them giving tours the other day and I wanted to tell them, do not do it. Don't do it. Don't. Don't waste your time. If this is, don't pay for this. If that's if you want a different experience because you're not gonna get that there, not here, you're just not you're not gonna get it. But if that's still your thing, then go for it. I really wish you the best of the best. <laughs> um, what else do I need to tell you guys about the school? Hmm. I really don't think I really think I covered everything. There's not much to cover here. Oh yeah, work study. So it took me a while to really, for them to reach out to me. Like it was a whole semester passed before she emailed me about work study. Like she kept saying, yeah, I'm getting a list together. I'll let you know. Like that continued for months. Like the whole semester passed, still nothing. And then right at the end, it's just like, if you're interested, come to my office during these times. And the semester is over. I have a job now that I don't even really like, but it pays more than that. So I'm not gonna quit that for this. So that's what you gotta, you have to get in quick and that's something they don't tell you. So if you're looking to do work study, get in quickly. Um, maybe um, I'll tell you what there is to do around town. So um, around town, around the city, since I don't want to offend anyone that's from Columbus, since they always like to talk about how, it, how it's the third largest city in Georgia. So this city is um, pretty boring. <laughs> um, if you're not 21 and up, there's not much to do. Downtown is pretty cool, but the most you can do down there is eat. And sometimes they have, they have these outside concerts. So those are pretty cool. So. Downtown is pretty much the place to be if you're really looking for something. Um, bowling. Um, bowling at Bolero is pretty cool at night. Um, at Stars and Strikes is pretty cool at night. Um, find some really cool um, karaoke bars. Like the ones I like are at Mr. Wings and The Hangout. Those places are really cool. Um, I think that is it. That's that's the most fun you're gonna have here. I know a lot of people like to go whitewater rafting. I, it's not for me. It's not. So you won't catch me there. But um, hmm. I really think that's it to do here. So like I said, if that's something, if all the things that I've said sound really good to you, then go for it. Like I wish you the best. I hope you have so much fun here. Um, if you see me, say hi because I don't, like I said, I don't have any friends. Be my friend. Um, I really think that's it. Like if there's something you want to know, you can also DM me on Instagram. Um, if you want me to do a Q and A, like something you want to know about me that I haven't said, um, DM me on Instagram. Basically anything that you have to say to me, say it in the comments or DM me on Instagram. My Instagram is cat underscore barbs underscore so you know just give me shoot me a message and i will definitely get back to you so i hope that you stay tuned for the other things that i'll have on my channel i i'm really looking forward to creating more content to put on here um this is really becoming a really good hobby for me um I need to stop saying um. Oh. I'm pretty sure you've counted how many times I've said um. Oh. So I just want to say check back in, like, comment, subscribe, and I really hope you enjoyed this video and look forward to more things that I have to put on here. Bye. Any party girls in my party world? Titties plastic as fantastic.